Nobody likes liars. Now you've summoned Arnold Myers. That's right, over here. It's me, Arnold Myers. Stick around. Yeah, she's dead tired. You're next. Am I in Jumanji? Yo, but they have a Best Buy. Let, let's go inside, guys. Let's see what they got. Yo, and look back to the future trilogy. Doc, this is heavy right now. This is freaking heavy on the Blu-ray. have it on the 4K. We have the 4K, the Steelbook set. Oh my God, just look at that set though. So tempting right now. Just look at all three of the Steelbooks. I might do it. I do like this one as well. I like that cover artwork. I like the blue going around. Which one do I get? But this one's got the steel books. This one doesn't. So probably gonna stick with this one. This right here is the biggest release for this week. Oh my goodness. I wasn't too sure if I was gonna pick it up anyway. Since they have it, it just looks so tempting. Yeah, I'm probably gonna end up buying this. Go check out the regular Blu-ray section. See if they have anything else. Try these aisles. Actually, this is a really cool Batman set. 80th anniversary edition, 18 film collection. I even love that cover artwork. They even have the Leprechaun complete movie collection. Just, just I'm gonna have to pass on that. And look at this, we even have the Lord of the Rings. And speaking of the Lord of the Rings, they have, they're coming out with a 4K steelbook treatment, even with the Hobbits too. I know a lot of you guys are huge fans. I, I bet you're gonna have snap up on those 4Ks for sure. All right, dude, what do we have over here? Oh, this, look at this. The pumpkin head, pumpkin head for $23. A really fine looking steel book, I must say. I'd definitely pick that up and they even have plenty of copies. You can dig that cover artwork, that is fantastic. What else do we have? We have Spree going on on Blu-ray. Uh, let me know in the comments if you've seen it. Right next to it, we have the owners. Will I be the owner of this Blu-ray? Probably not, but I'll put that back but I will be the owner of this Blu-ray, <laughs> Tremors. Which, that's not Jamie Kennedy, where is he? It's just getting out of hand, guys. Like, just look at this. They got chainsaws, they got machetes, and what is this? It's not even a graboid anymore. I don't know. I just, I'm gonna put it back now. It's actually pretty terrifying. Of all the horror movies, that look, that's terrifying. Have another Shutter movie right here, Scare Package, Drive-In. Also, another cool thing is that Best Buy is also giving out Shutter original movies on Blu-ray. Dead Hand is just picking out VHS tapes. That is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, if you guys have seen this movie, let me know in the comments if it's any good or not. Look at this, another Ultraman. Best Buy loves the Ultraman. Really cool slipcover though, I, I dig that. And they don't have the steelbook. Where is the steelbook for this? The way I'll be grabbing this bad boy because that is freaking fantastic. This is cool to see that they brought in two more of the Ghost in the Shell 4K animated movie. Missed out. Definitely check your Best Buy. I think it's great that they're releasing the older titles. Just waiting on the Full Metal Jacket 4K Steelbook and the 300 Steelbook. Just watch them not bring those two Steelbooks back. Bring them back, please. This is hot chicken nuggets dipped in barbecue sauce, ketchup, mustard. I was not expecting much, but bam, let's go. Uh, guys, that's not all. I finally arrived to the Scream Factory Friday the 13th box set. Oh. So happy have this finally in my hand. I'll never leave you. Um, yeah, so that happened. But we're not done yet. Why not go to Walmart as usual? So let's do that. Let's do it now. I'll see you guys at Walmart. There it is, Walmart. I, I definitely want to go to this Walmart because last time I was here, they were changing things around. I didn't get the chance to check out the other side of Blueberry section, but today is a different day. Let's go inside and let's go check it out. Let's see what it looks like. Let's do this. We're inside of Walmart right now. I just, I really hope they didn't shrink the Blueberry section because that seems to be like the new thing around with the stores. Hopefully that is not the case. Here are the new releases. Pretty much all I'm seeing right here came out last week, but that's okay. We still got plenty of stuff. Like I said, they added some movies. Guys, look at these sets. I don't know if this, yeah, this is a Blu-ray. This is a Blu-ray pack only at Walmart, Dragon Ball Z. If you guys are huge Dragon Ball Z fans, you got the Blu-ray and the Figpin XL. Who's been a Yu-Gi-Oh person? How many bucks? Uh, that's okay. That is pretty cool. You don't see anything like that in any of the stores. Right next to it, we have the Spirit Away set limited edition going on for 30 bucks three movie cd 
CD soundtrack, 40 page essay book. I always hated doing essays. That word scared me. It's brought back school memories. That was pretty cool though, so they got to that. Right next to it, we even have the Studio Ghibli steel books, which you usually see at Best Buy. I wish I got into Studio Ghibli's because there's so many varieties going on over here. I came across this movie right here, Switch. I who's in this movie, but I like the concept. It's kind of like Freaky Friday, switching bodies. And Switch could be fun watch. Actually, I might just pick this up. <laughs> Stallone Rambo 5 film collection with the slipcover going on for 25 bucks. Oh, they got the 4K Steelbook collection set coming out, so definitely not gonna buy this. Yeah, definitely never seen this before. I like the blue. Don't have it, you dip it, pick it up. I'll notice this one right here with the saw. I wanna play a game. A film collection with this new slipcover. Omar is carrying this too, the Scream Factory, the Omen Collection Deluxe Edition. All the Omen movies on Blu-ray going on for 40 bucks. That is a nice set. It's really cool looking cover. That kid is just creepy. I'm gonna put it back if I can. Look at these fun Halloween titles like Scared Shrekless. Look at this. That's actually a really nice cover artwork that I kind of want to pick this up. Breaked out parody of Michael Jackson's Thriller. Look at that. The whole Shrek crew doing the Thriller dance. I don't know. For now, I'll probably put it back. Actually, hold on guys. I am gonna pick it up. I can't leave Walmart without picking up Scared Shrekless. All right guys, let's go check out the yellow side and see what they got. Yeah guys, there's not much actually over here. Oh, empty shelves, what is happening? Do we got some titles, like we do have Spree on Blu-ray and DVD. The owners, once again, will I be the owner of this? No, and that joke is already old. And the DVD, but look at this right here. Blood Immortal, that looks pretty frightening. And uh, oh my god, <laughs> that's even more frightening. This is Christ, lady, you're scaring us. Some more sloppy joes. So that does look like a nice slip covered, her just munching on the guy's neck. So we do have that, and down below we have Scare Package again, picking out those great VHS tapes. And next to it we have the Redwood Massacre Annihilation. Sounds like a cool title for a slasher film. Look at this guy, how, how can you possibly see through that. We have this movie, which is a license plate, but that's a really cool slipcover. I do like those colors going on. Come on, just get in there. Get, there we go. All right, guys, out of Walmart. He picked up two things, two, and they're DVDs. What is happening? Uh, I'm in the Jumanji world. That's what's happening. It's digging into my mind to buy DVDs. Let's go back in the car and I'll show you what I picked up. There is, oh. Of course, we gotta put the key in, and here's my car. And we'll start off with the Walmart purchases. First, as you saw, Scared Shrekless on DVD. Shrek, who doesn't love Shrek? It's a Halloween special, it's October. I feel like this is the right moment to pick it up. Shreks are like onions. They have layers, layers. Waffles, Donkey has his waffles. I didn't see that, that's fantastic. Boots Motel, I love it. Looks like they got a lot of parodies going on. Like I said, this could be fun watch, so why not? Then. Yeah, switched. <laughs> like, I, like I said before, I like concepts like this. Again, this could be a fun watch, a good time. I don't know, but I'm gonna give it a chance. I'm gonna give it a chance, damn it. That's what this DVD is asking for, just a chance. There you go, there is the other DVD, but over here are the things I got at Best Buy, such as this guy right here. <laughs> Pumpkin Scream Factory Steelbook. That's twice in a row with a Scream Factory Steelbook that just released in the pumpkin head. I freaking love that. I dig that about Best Buy that they have stuff like this. A pumpkin head himself right on the front. Always with the reveal, all of it. And that's cool. Not cool, that is sexy. Okay, I don't know if it's sexy, but I love the blue. Blue is my favorite color. You got the lightning going in the background with the fog. The artwork just, it never disappoints you whatsoever with the Scream Factories. They all look truly amazing. Steelbook speaks for itself because it is truly amazing. And there you go with the front, another quote, and some disc artwork. Look at that face. <laughs> just a little closer look. That's some shocked look right there. Yeah. Really cool steel book. Definitely glad I picked it up and for like 20 bucks. Once again, look at the detail. But all right, the main course is right here. This bad boy. Marty, hello, hello McFly. And there it is. Just wanna sing to it. A fool in love with you. The moment I keep locking my eyes, the more in love I am with this thing. That's not true, but, uh, or is it? It could be. 35th anniversary limited edition. The Steelbooks, of course, I had to go with the Steelbooks. Oh, what channel you're watching. Just take another look at this cover artwork. I will say, Marty looks a little cartoonish more than the other two, but like legit images. A little airbrushed. It looks a little too smooth, but that's okay. I don't care. It's just like a little nitpick. It looks cool either way. I like how it breaks up in the different timelines in the background. Back to the future. Classics. Don't call him chicken 
or yellow. Let's get into the steelbook. Start with steelbook number one. Bam. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's lay them out all at once. This needs to happen. The third steelbook. Ba bam There you go. It's like a puzzle piece. This is all steelbooks connected as one. The de freaking DeLorean with Marty driving it. This guy's, this is a steelbook package right here. The 35th anniversary edition 4K Back to the Future steelbooks. One, two, and three. <sighs> connecting. That is such a cool design. I own this now. This is incredible. Definitely hot chicken nuggets for sure. Just love the attention of detail with all each of the steelbooks. All the characteristics of the first one, the second one with the future, and then the western part of it. That is so freaking cool. Now we gotta check out the back. Let's do that. Ready? Three, two, one. And then bam! Reveal! That, that is nice. That is is nice. Michael J. Fox, is Martin McFly, and all three of them. I think the second one is my favorite. That is such a cool shot. This is the moment we call them yellow. And of course, the classic image of, holy shit, I just invented a time machine car. I'm so glad that I picked this one up. Now let's check out the inside. First one, let's see what the inside is all about. And for the first one, oh my God. It just keeps rolling. Not only does it have disc artwork, the inside artwork. It just merged all the images together. Usually Steelbook just have like one plain image but this one no it was like nope we're gonna give you everything this one's gonna do it then i have a feeling those two are gonna do it all right let's see what you're capable of veal oh yeah that that's nice yeah once again it's just striking with the disc all work amazing set it is beautiful i'm lost for words it's awesome like i said whoever made these steel books Give them a raise, damn it, because they deserve it. Last but not least, then we shall open up. Oh, this one's got three. The DeLorean with the flame. Some of these images I've never seen before, like this one. Wow. All right, we got to take these out. It was like this. Oh, yeah. Look at them right there. <laughs> that looks like... That looks like a class photo. You're just standing awkwardly. Also, the jacket looks a little too big on him. Oh, well, there you go, guys. Those are the images for the third Inside Steelbook. There you have it, guys. Back to the Future 4K. We just put the Steelbooks right into place. Going back like that. Ba bam uh, Yeah, so that was one of the things that I picked up. Last but not least, I'm not going to show you the whole entire thing. I'm going to show it off because I'm so happy I finally have this in my hands. You guys have seen probably so many videos about this or pictures, images. I'm putting my two cents that... It's amazing. The artwork is amazing in all the movies. All of them. Love the Friday the 13th movies. Uh, back at Jason, right there is my favorite part two. Let me know in the comments, what is your favorite Jason and Jason movie? And do you have the Screen Factory set? Pretty much everyone does. Even their grandmother has this. Really amazing set. Well done. Another awesome job, Screen Factory. Like I said, just they don't let you down. So we got some birthday shouts we got to get to. First one goes to Unstable Vlogger. Uh, his birthday is on the 12th, but hopefully it was a great birthday, man. He also says, I love your channel and one of my favorite YouTubers. Well, damn, man. Thank you so, so very much. So, so thank you very much, Unstable Vlogger, and happy birthday. This one goes to Colum Nevili. Hopefully I pronounced that right. His birthday was next Monday. Sorry, passed. Happy belated birthday. It was the greatest present you got, but a uh, happy birthday. This one goes to Hayden Cash, but not his birthday. No, he wanted to give a special shout out to his girlfriend, Caitlin Kelly. Oh, that's awesome. That is so freaking sweet. Happy birthday there, Caitlin Kelly. Your birthday was on October 13th. He definitely sounds like a keeper. So definitely hang on to him. Very nice of you, Hayden. Last but not least, we have a special birthday shout out to Jacob Hubbard. We, me and him have been YouTube buddies for a very long time. It's awesome to have a friendship with you, man. Uh, you are such a cool guy. We both love the Patriots, so we share that great bond. <laughs> he turns the big 2-1 on October 21st. Hopefully you enjoy it go crazy but not too crazy have a blast man dude happy birthday there you go guys hopefully you enjoy the video as always let me know what did you snag did you end up picking up see you guys next week take care stay out of trouble All right like bust the rhyme says trick or treat motherfucker uh-uh-uh you didn't hit the like button uh-uh-uh you forgot to hit the patreon page uh-uh-uh you forgot to wear your underwear <laughs>